So the burgoo is just about any kind of meat that you could possibly want to put in here. But I have put in some country pork ribs, which I've already browned, some chicken, skin on, bone in. We are putting, we're cooking them, browning them individually because this is a lot of bulk going on here. You want to generously season it. Don't be shy about this. You want it to taste good. You want every element of your dish to taste good. So salt, pepper, and it's important, I think, to brown it in the same pan that you are going to cook the stew in so that you have all of that awesome flavor at the bottom. And you're not really cooking the meat at this point. As you see from the recipe, this is a long cooking dish. Okay, so I browned my beef, and I'm going to transfer it all out of the pan and put in the vegetables that are going to cook for quite some time. So here's some more of our vegetables that are going in. You know, these are obviously very familiar items, and these are the aromatics that really give a dish great flavor. And so we've got our onion and our carrot. Let's do our celery. So right there, in any soup, stew, or long cooking braise, these three items, carrot, celery, and onion, are what add that great flavor. We're going to toss in garlic that these have cooked up nice and tender and that's when we're going to add back our meat and all of the juices. And I do want all of the juices back in. Now, I'm sure you're wondering why wouldn't I just start it all off the bone now that I've browned it. But the deal is truly it's going to simmer with the bones, with the fat, with the skin. And it really does add a lot of great flavor to this, let's be honest, very rustic, very country stew. What you'll do is grab all of the meat out. Now this has not cooked long enough for me to really be able to show you this nicely. But you're going to grab all of the meat out. And then quite literally, this will have fallen off by then. And just pull the skin away. I would not put the skin back in. But you will find that after two and a half hours, this will be off the bone. And you'll just be able to pull it right off. But you do want to take all the bone, all the skin, maybe certain bits of fat or whatever off of the meat, and then toss it back in. I'm also going to add to it my chicken broth. And then uh, in goes our tomato and Worcestershire sauce. And then we can just tell jokes and sit and visit while it all simmers. And in goes our seasoning. I'm going to bring it up to a boil, reduce to a simmer, and cover the pot. OK, so this is going to simmer away. And then we're going to have to pretend that all these hours have gone by and add our final ingredients. You'll notice that I have the potatoes in some cold water. If we didn't, they would turn a little bit pink, which we definitely don't want. And so now I'm going to drain them. So we're going to put some fresher frozen lima beans, some fresher frozen corn into our stew. OK, so simmer, 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 cook, cook, cook. Our burgoo is pretty well ready to serve. <laughs>